Good day everyone, our topic for this video is about compare two set using the expression more than, less than, or as many as. At the end of the lesson, the students are able to visualize and compare two sets using the expression more than, less than, or as many as. Understand the difference between more than, less than, or as many as. And encourage and develop patience and persistence when solving problems. Good morning class. Please stand up and let us pray. Mike, please lead the prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy king, thy come. Thy will be done on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, good morning, class. So, before you take your seats, please pick up some pieces of papers under your chairs. Okay, are you done? Okay, very good. Okay, class. So, do you want to sing an action song? Okay, very good. Now, please, everybody stand up and let us sing together. Do you know the song, I Have Two Hands? Okay, very good. Now, let us sing together in three, two, one. I have two hands, the left and the right. Hold them up high, so clean and bright. Clap them softly, one, two, three. Clean leather hands are good to see. Okay, one more. I had two hands, the left and the right. Hold them up tight, so clean and bright. Clap them softly, one, two, three. Clean leather hands are good to see. Okay, very good. Do you like the song? Okay, now, next song is I Love Mathematics. Okay, all you have to do is... To repeat after me. Is that clear? Okay, very good. So, let's sing the song, I Love Mathematics, in 3, 2, 1. Mathematics, mathematics, I love math, I love math. It is so exciting, very interesting, I love math, I love math. Okay, again. Mathematics, mathematics, I love math, I love math. It is so exciting, very interesting, I love math, I love math. Okay? Are you energized now, children? Do you energize now, children? Okay, very good. You may now sit down. Now, let's proceed for our checking off attendance this morning. So, all you have to do is to raise your right hand if you are here. Is that clear, everyone? Okay, very good. Mangi? Mazuela? Unar? Parinyo? Kevin? Romel, Romel, Jamel, and lastly is Judy Ann. Okay, very good. You got a perfect attendance this morning. So now clap your hands for a perfect attendance. Okay, class, do you want to learn a new lesson this morning? Okay, very good. But before anything else, let us have a short review first. Okay, class, who can still remember our last lesson? Yes, Jamel? Yes, very good. Our last lesson was about two-dimensional shape. Okay, so who can give me an example of two-dimensional shape? Yes, Munar? Yes, very good. The example of two-dimensional shape is 
square. A square is an example of two-dimensional shape. Okay, what else? You can give me another example. Yes? Amangi? Correct. The, another example of two-dimensional shape is oval. Very good. Okay, who can give me another one example of two-dimensional shape? Yes? Laprico? That's correct. Another example of two-dimensional shape is circle. That is two-dimensional shape. So, who can give me another example? Yes, Ramel. Yes, very good. The next example of two-dimensional shape is triangle. Very good. What else? Who can give me another example of two-dimensional shape? Yes, Mangi? Yes, rectangle. That is another example of two-dimensional shape. Another example of two-dimensional shape is pentagon. Very good, children. Now, let's proceed for our new topic this morning. Our topic this morning is about comparing two sets using the expression more than, less than, as many as. Now, so what is more than? More than, it is defined an inequality of comparing two sets of number. We are going to use the expression more than if the first set is higher than the second set. Is that clear? Like for example, on the first set we have 15 balls and on the second set we have only 10 glasses of water. We are going to use the expression more than because the first set is higher than the second set. So, ato daw gamiton ang expression nga more than kung ang first nga set ko no is mas dako ikumpara sa ikaduha nga set. So, we're going to use the expression more than because on the first set, we have 15 balls over 10 glasses of water. So, more than. Is that clear? Next is less than. Less than is one of the terms used to own relationships between two sets of numbers or two sets of values. We're going to use the expression less than if the first set is lower or fewer than the second set. Like for example, on the first set we have only five bags. And on the second set, we have 10 pieces of clocks. So, we're going to use the expression less than or fewer because the first set is lower than the second set. So, we're going to use the expression less than. Ato daw gamiton ang expression nga less than kung ang expression. Uh, first set is mas gamay compare sa ikaduha nga set. Kaya ikaduha nga set is mas dako masya i-compare sa first set. Okay, nakasabot? So, the first set is lower than the second set. So, what expression that we're going to use? We're going to use the expression less than. Is that everybody clear? So, next is as many as. So, what is as many as? As many as there are many x and y, that means the number of x is the same number of y or same as the number of y. So what does that mean? We're going to use the expression as many as if the first set and the second set is equal. Is that clear? Okay, like for example, uh, on the first set we have five glasses of water and on the second set we have the same a uh, number which is the five glasses of water we're going to use the expression of as many as like for example on the first set we have 15 pieces of chairs and on the second set we have another 15 pieces of chairs we're going to use the expression 
as many as because they are both equal. Okay? So, another example. If on the first set, we have 10 pieces of box. On the second set, we have another 10 pieces of box. We're going to use, again, the expression of as many as because they are both equal. So, ato lang daw gamiton ang expression nga as many as kung ang doha ka set is kapariha og numbers or kapariha og values and quantities. Nakasabot? Okay, very good. So now, I have here some examples of more than, less than, and as many as. Now, I, I want you to determine where is the more than, less than, and as many as. Okay? Okay, on the first set, number one. What expression that we're going to use? Is it more than, less than, or as many as? Yes, very good. We're going to use the expression more than because the first set is higher than the second set. So, ato do gamiton ang more than nga expression kay tungod ang first nga set is mas dako ikumpara sa ikaduha nga set. Now, let's proceed to number two. What expression that we're going to use? Is it more than, less than, or as many as? Yes, very good. We're going to use the expression less than because the first set is fewer or lesser than the second set. So, ato ko nung gamiton ang expression nga less than kay mas, at tungod, kay mas gamay ang first nga set ikumpara sa ikaduha nga set. Okay. Sa first nga set, we have only five box and on the second set we have 10 box very good now number three what expression that we're going to use is it more than less than or as many as yes very good we're going to use the expression as many as because they are both equal Ato ko nung gamiton ang expression nga as many as kahit tungod ang first o ang second set na ay kapariha nga value or quantities. So, they are both equal. So, we're going to use the expression as many as. Is that clear everyone? Okay, very good. Now, I will group you into three groups. Okay, the first row is the first group, the second row, the second group, and the last row is the third group. So, so all you have to do is to identify which is more or which is less is that everybody clear okay very good so the first group has a higher score i will give plus points to their score okay now which which set is more is it set a or set b yes group two yes very good the second set is more than the second set so which main what expression that we're going to use we're going to use the expression less than because the first set is lower than the second set now next which uh, set is less is it set a or set b yes group one yes very good and the first set is less than the second set so we what expression that we're going to use? Yes, we're going to use again less than because the first set is less or fewer than the second set. Now, next, which set is more? Is it set A or set B? Yes, group 3. Yes, very good. The first set is more than the second set. So, which means we're going to use the expression more than because the first set is higher than the second set okay so last one which set is more is it set a or set b yes group one yes very good the first set is more than the second set so which mean we're going to use the expression more than because the first set is higher than the second set. Okay, very good. 
Now, the group 1 has a higher score, so I will give them additional class points to their score. Now, get one half sheet of papers and we have a short quiz. Okay, class, all you have to do is to define the problems if it is true or false. So, write true if the statement is correct and false if the statement is wrong. Is that clear, everyone? Okay, very good. Now, on this picture, we're going to use the expression as many as true or false. Okay, are you done? Okay, next. More done. The first set is more done than the second set. True or false? Are you done? Okay, very good. Next. The first set is less done than the second set. True or false? Are you done? Okay, next. The first set is less than than the second set. Is it true or false? Next. The first set is more than than the second set. True or false? Okay, very good. Okay, that's it. So now let us have check your quiz. Okay, number one, what is the answer? The answer is false. Okay, who got false? Okay, very good. Number one is false because they are not both equal. Okay? So, number two, what is the answer? The answer is, again, it is false because the first set is less than than the second set. Okay, very good. So, number three, who can answer number three? Is Mike. Yes, number three is true because the first set is less than than the second set. Okay, very good. Now, what about number four? What is the answer? Okay, the answer is false because the first set is more than than the second set. Okay, very good. Now, number five. What is the answer number five? The answer is True, because the first set is more than than the second set. Now, who can get a perfect score? Wow, everyone got a perfect score. Okay, congratulations, everyone. Clap your hands for a perfect score. Okay, for your assignment, open your box on page 16. So, all you have to do is to identify what expression that you're going to use on that problem. Okay, on page 16. Is that everybody clear? You're going to put your assignments on your notebook. Is that clear, everyone? Okay, very good. Now, please stand up. And class dismissed.